we are going to be looking at the life of George Muller. He was born in Germany over 200 years ago in 1805. At just the age of 10, George became a thief. He would steal money and he would lie to people. He would spend his money on alcohol and on betting. Even when his mum was dying in bed, George was out partying with his friends, drinking and gambling. We would look at George's life and think that there is no hope for him, that he's messed up. But God had a bigger plan. God had a better plan for him. George's dad paid for him to go to Bible school. And one day he was in Bible study and all of a sudden it clicked. He realised that God was a God who cares. God was a God who loves. It completely transformed his life. He went to England and met a lady called Mary, who he then married. In England at this time, there were lots of children who were living on the streets. They would steal bread and steal money to survive. They would sleep out in the cold and no one cared for them. People would avoid them like rats. He decided that he was going to start an orphanage for children who didn't have any parents. He said it didn't matter what the backstory was, everyone was going to be accepted. He also made a decision that he wasn't going to ask anybody for money. He was trusting in God. He said that if it was God's work, then God would provide. Immediately, people started donating things, knives and forks, plates, cloth and furniture. In just one year, George had started three children's homes and was looking after 90 children. He had to constantly trust in God to provide food to feed them, to provide clothes to keep them warm, and to provide people to look after them and to train them so that when they grew up, they would be able to get jobs. Soon, George had four houses, and he felt God saying that he needed to build a bigger house so that he could look after more children. The only problem was, was that it cost a lot of money. It would have cost about 800,000 pounds in today's money. And George continued not to ask anyone to help with the finances. But amazingly, God provided in just one week a tenth of what was needed. Soon he had the money and he was able to build the building. It could look after 300 children at one time. Over the next 21 years, George went on to build another four homes that could look after 2,000 children in total. Unfortunately, George's wife died, but this didn't hold him back. He married another lady called Susanna and went around the world teaching and preaching about God who cares for us and cares even for those people that no one else looks after. In his lifetime, George looked after 10,000 children. God provided 120 million pounds in our money today. This kid who was a thief, a liar and a gambler at the beginning of his life who no one thought would make anything of his life. God had a bigger plan, a better plan.